This quick video will take you through the two easy steps you need to follow to get your course ready to use in the core. When you're ready to get started with your course, there are two steps you need to follow. You need to make your course active and you need to change your home page as outlined on the current home page for your course right now. To make your course active, there are actually two different ways you can do it depending on where you are. Um, the first step is if you go to your um, school homepage. So if I was at Anne Hathaway, I would go to Anne Hathaway. And in Anne Hathaway, um, in, on your school homepage, you'll see that there's a My Courses widget. So if I'm looking for this particular course that I'm teaching, you can see it says inactive right here. When a course is made active, it actually allows the students to be uploaded into the course. So I want that to happen. If I don't make the course active, my students will not be able to access the course. So the first method of making your course active is on your school homepage in the My Courses widget. Click on the three dots beside the course you would like to make active. And a little uh, area will come up and you want to click on Course Offering Information. When you're on the Course Offering Information page, you scroll down until you get to the active heading right here and you click on the box beside course is active and make sure to save your selection. Okay, and you'll see a message comes up that it's saved successfully here. Okay, now we'll want to go back to our course homepage to um, see the rest of the instructions. So you can either get to your course homepage by clicking on course home or by clicking on the course title at the top of your course page. So that was the first way of activating your course. The second way that you could um, use to activate your course is if you are already on your course homepage here, you could go to My Class, the My Class drop down, scroll down until you get to Edit Course, which will take you to the Course Administration page. From the course administration page, you can then access the course offering information from here, which would take you back to the same page that you saw before. You'd just scroll down, you'd click find the active heading and click on beside the course is active, which we did in the last step. So you could do either of those steps to activate your course. It doesn't matter which one. So we're going to go back to the course homepage now. So those are two different ways to make your course active. The other step you need to do is actually change your home page, which is this actual page right here. So to change the home page of your course, go back up to the My Class with, or My Class icon, scroll down to Edit Course, um, which will take you to the Course Administration page. From here, you're going to click on Home Pages, and you'll see here the courses that you can choose from are listed at the very top of the list here. So um, there's the default page, which is the one that your course would show with at the beginning um, before you change it. And then after that, you have a choice of choosing um, a home page for grades K to 3, one for grades 4 to 6, or one for grades 7 to 12. So to actually change your active home page, um, in the area at the top under the heading Active Home Page, click the drop down and it'll give you a list of the, the home pages that you have access to. So again, you're going to choose from the top three. Let's say I'm teaching a grade six course. I'm going to select the grades four to six home page, and I'm going to apply it. And as soon as I click the apply button, it will make that home page the active home page for my course. And you'll see I get a message that tells me that's the set as the active home page. So I'm going to go back to my home page now. And you'll see this information on my home page has now changed. So as soon as I click on this course, um, I will get this home page come up. So now you're ready to get started with your course. So you've made the course active, which means your students will be uploaded to the course tonight, as soon as the um, SIS integration runs overnight tonight. So when you log in tomorrow, your students should all be loaded into the course. And you can check that by going to, again, the My Class drop down and clicking on Class List. And when the students are uploaded into your course, you would see a list of student names here. Um, and so uh, you also um, selected the correct home page for your course. 
Now you're ready to get started with adding content to your course, which will be dealt with in another video.